eight years ago, they were told he wouldn't amount to much. That is, he laid in a crib in a Bulgarian orphanage. He was a shell of a human. Like whenever they advocated for him, there was no response. He just sat there. Eight years old, blind, nonverbal, less than 20 pounds, hungry. They'll shove the spoon so hard down his throat that he would pray that God would save him from the pain. Pell City's Courtney and Dave Wheel loved him from the moment they met him. He opened up like I just sat by him and talked to him and I touched him and by the end of the week he was smiling at us. Zahari Wheel smiled all the way to America where eight years later he is showing the world what work ethic is all about. I don't believe in anything to hold anybody back. So if somebody wants to work, let them work. Zahari turned 16 a few weeks back, so when he walked into Saucy's restaurant over in Riverside the other day, he told his mom through his voice computer that it was time. He had something to say, he got his device, he was done eating, and he said, I want to work here. He had his license up in his hand and he hit a button and I just heard the voice say, I just turned 16, uh, can I get a job? I, need, I would do the dishes. And I was like, absolutely. I was like, you can't wash dishes. You never washed dishes before. And he said, I can. Oh, he could, all right. With mom Courtney guiding him, <laughs> Zahari has started his after school part time job by bussing tables. And he's doing it with a motor that never slows down. He got the plates um, shooken out into the box and and he knows that the plates go on the second shelf, the pans go on the second shelf. He talks about this in his journal. <laughs> when today's restaurant help is hard to find, Zahari Wheel is setting an example, and he tells me he's loving his new gig. I think I'm so blessed. Bill and Casey are blessed as well, as they are witnessing an inspiration. That's one hardworking young man. The drive that he has, it's a fire that I don't think anybody can put out. That fire will serve Zahari Wheel well in the future. He says he wants to be a biochemist. I don't even know what a biochemist is, but he might be. I believe he's going to light the world up. Zahari Wheel is already lighting up the world each and every day at Saucy's Restaurant in Riverside, Alabama. Rick Carlin, WVTM 13.